Hello. This is a tutorial to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. should work with just about any version of, of Excel that you might use. Um, so I've put together a little scenario here that demonstrates the function well. And it's an extremely useful function, uh, one that anybody who does data analysis should definitely learn. And um, a lot of the tutorials I've seen have been somewhat complicated in explaining the process. And uh, hopefully this will be a little bit more simple. Um, so here we go. The scenario is basically this. Let's say you have a list of purchases that you've made. And these are all the different vendors. And then we've got this field here that's an account code. So it's like a numeric value here. The date, the amount, those are irrelevant in this case. But um, then we have this other sheet here in Excel, so chart of accounts. And basically, these accounts, um, we've got nearly, nearly 200 of them. And let's say the task at hand is basically to look at our purchase transactions and look at the account code that's given and then from that account code we want to figure out what the account type is so if we look at 27220 as an example let's go to the chart of accounts 27220 the account is payroll tax liabilities and the account type is other current liability so let's say here in our, our purchase transactions in the account type field, we want the value of other current liability to show up right here. And then the relevant uh, or the associated um, account type for each of these account codes to show up all the way along down here. So 31300, basically we would have equity show up right here. So one way we could do that with VLOOKUP is basically this. Um, so we start the formula equal VLOOKUP, start parentheses, and then you'll notice that Excel gives you a bunch of prompts. These prompts, um, they show you the parameters that are needed in order for the function to work. So parameters being uh, basically what you need to tell Excel um, in order for it to complete the function. So lookup value. Um, what that is is basically what do you want to look up. So in this case we want to look up account code 27220. We want to look for it here in column C and if we find a match for 27220 we want it to tell us what is three columns over uh, other current liability. So one, two, three, other current liability. So I'll go back here and delete that out. So equal the lookup, start parentheses, click on the value you want to look up. And each one of these parameters is separated by a comma. So See how lookup value is bold, and then I put a comma, and now table array is bold, comma, column index is bold. So I'll delete those out. So we want to look up this value here, then I'm going to put comma, table array. What that parameter means is, okay, you want to look up 27220, where do you want to look? And the answer is, we want to look in column C, and then we're going to click, hold, and drag. And when we find it in column C, what do we want to do? We want Excel to tell us what is in column E. So that 27220, we want to look for it here in column C and then tell us that it's an other current liability type of transaction. We're going to click and drag. And then notice how we have this little pop-up that says 2C, 3C, 4, 5, 
six. That's called the column index, and that becomes important because that's the next parameter that Excel is going to look for. So if I were to do it here, where I'm, I'm clicking on C, and then I drag over here in H, so you see that 6? If I use 6 as the next parameter, it's basically going to look for 27220, and then it's going to tell me what is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns over from that value, which is blank right now. That's not what we want to do. What we want to do is say, find 27220, and then tell me what is in the third column over. So we drag to the third column. Notice how it says 3. I'm going to do comma 3, then comma false, always false for exact match as the last parameter. Then you close parentheses and then you hit enter and as you can see 27220 showing his other current liability so we'll verify that 27220 other current liability so we'll flip back here so once we get one of the uh, cells to successfully find the correct value if you hover over the bottom right corner of that cell See how the cursor changes from a white X to a black X? Once it goes to a black X, double click. And that extends your formula all the way down. So if you were to manually do this, obviously you'd have to look at each one of these codes, flip back here, find the value, find the account type, and then type it in here. And um, what we just did did um, let's see how many transactions so like 30 transactions so 30 manual lookup set you don't have to do um, so that's great for 30 but obviously if you're dealing with a data set of 10,000 30,000 or more uh, it's an enormous time saver and you could then take this information and let's say a categorization so that you could do a pivot table and figure out um, you know, how much did we spend uh, with the equity account? How much did we spend uh, with expenses? You could easily do like a pivot table that shows like the account type. And the amount. So right here now we could see we spent 2820 in expense, 1126 in equity, 513 in income, 207 in other current liability. Um, so it's just a way you could build one thing on top of, anoth of another, like a, a VLOOKUP that then allows you to get a nice pivot table. Uh, but the key takeaway is the value of the, key, uh, the VLOOKUP. So we'll do a quick recap of how to do that formula. So I just clear that out of there. So I'm going to do equal. We look up, start parentheses, we pay attention to the bold. So first thing, first clue is look up value. We want to look up the account, comma, now table array. Where do we want to look for that value? We want to look for it in column C, and then we want it to return the value. That is three columns over, so pay attention to that three there, four, three comma, three, comma, always false, close parentheses, hit enter, it's working, so then we hover bottom right corner, double click, and it extends it all the way. So I hope this helps, if you have any questions, post a comment, thank you.